Hello, in this video, we are going to learn how we can disable Gutenberg WordPress new editor in our WordPress website. So, in this video, I'm using the development version still of WordPress 5.0 beta 1. And uh, if now, for example, I'm going to uh, create a new post and then we're going to click on the plus button and then post. And this is the Gutenberg new editor. And if you do not want this, you still be able to disable this by installing a plugin. So let's go uh, to the plugins and add new. So hover on plugins and add new. If I hit it already, click this already. In the search plugins box, we're going to search for classic editor. And we should see classic editor. And then we are sure that this plugin is compatible with our version of WordPress, even though this site still using the 5.0 beta 1 versions of WordPress. And then it was last updated nine hours ago. So let's click on install now button to install this classic editor plugin. And when it's installed, we're going to click on Activate button. So once the plugin is activated, we're going to see uh, in the Activated Plugins page, which was called Classic Editor. There it is. And we should see Settings. So let's click on Settings link. So in this setting links, uh, if we scroll up, we should see classic editor settings. So now that we have these options after activating the classic editor plugin, we now have the two options. First is replacing the Gutenberg editor with the classic editor by default. Or if we want to use the block editor by default, and then include optional links back to classic editor. So what does these options uh mean is that by default it says replacing the block editor with classic editor this said if i go to one of my pages so hover on pages all pages hover that right click open link in the new tab let me close that as well and go to the pages you see that we still does not have this gutenberg uh, option so if we click on edit We're going to see the normal classic editor that we have or we had in the WordPress older versions before 5.0. However, let me uh, close this. If we are now choosing the use the block editor by default and include optional links back to the classic editor, we choose that. So let's choose that and click on save changes. Go back to our all pages again, right click, click new link on the new tab. And then you see now we have the edit and then the edit and then using the classic editor. So if you click on edit now, and now I have an error here. And if you have the same error, it is caused by one of your plugins. So you need to disable your plugins one by one and then re activate them again one by one to see which one that caused this problem. Alternatively, because we've installed our plugins, now you can use edit using the classic editor. So let's click edit using classic editor. Now you should be able to edit your post or page again, and then you still have the uh, use as your plugin activated. Alternatively, if you hover on the page, for example, or uh, post, you see now you have the add new and then classic using the classic editor plugin. So that is what this plugin or classic editor plugin settings do. And you're going to choose whichever the options that you prefer. So I hope that this video will help you. And if it will or if it does, please like this video and see you in the next video so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video goodbye